Hi everybody, my name is Tamsin Nell and I'm going to be reading the story I Love Turtles, written and illustrated by Marguerite Fenter. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Do you know what kind of animal I am? A mouse, that's right. Do you know which group of animals mice belong to? Yes, mammals. What is special about mammals? We breathe air and some of us are furry. Do you know any other mammals? Maybe you have a cat or a dog as a pet. They are mammals too. Shh! I heard something. Someone is coming. It might be someone who wants to eat me. I quickly need to hide. Hello. My name is Tix. I am a tortoise. Which group of animals do, you, do torture, tortoises belong to? Reptiles. That's right. Can you name some other reptiles? Snakes and lizards are good examples. I hatched from an egg, but now I cannot find any of my brothers and sisters. Can you see my family anywhere? Hello there, my name is Whiskers. I know where your family is. I have seen reptiles like you on the beach. Carry on walking in that direction and you will get there. Good luck! Hello, my name is Hatch. What's your name? That's a nice name. Do you know what kind of animal I am? A turtle, that's right. Did you see someone else on the beach? Who is it? Tings the tortoise. What is she doing on the beach? Is she looking for her family? Hello Tings, my name is Hatch. I heard that you are looking for your family. Maybe I'm your brother, but wait, you look different to me. Can you see the differences between Tinks and me? We are both reptiles. We hatch from eggs. We all look almost alike, but our legs are different. I have flippers because I swim in the ocean. You have legs for walking and clawed feet because you stay on land. I guess we're not brother and sister, but we could be cousins. Did you see someone coming? A bird! Oh no! Hi Tinks! It's a bird of prey! I'd better get back into the ocean. Hello, my name is Edgar. Do you know what kind of animal I am? A fish eagle. That's right. I am called a bird of prey because I hunt for my food. Did you see where the turtle and the tortoise went? I'd like to eat one of them. No? Oh well, I will have to find something else to something else to eat then. Thank you for your help. Bye. I am having a relaxing swim now, but I am feeling hungry after all the excitement. I love to eat jellyfish, sea sponges, and sea grass. Let's see what I can find to eat. Did you see someone? Is it a shark? I better hide because some sharks like to eat turtles. Hello, my name is Lily. Do you know what kind of animal I am? A shark, that's right. Who were you talking to? Was it a turtle? Where did the turtle go? I hope he wasn't afraid of me. I'm a leopard catfish and I don't eat turtles. I find my food on the ocean floor. I like to eat crabs, small fish and worms. Yummy! All this talk of food is making me hungry. 
I'm going to see what I can find to eat on the sandy ocean floor. See you soon. Bye for now. Is it safe to come out? Is the shark gone? Good. Mmm. Look at this yummy purple jellyfish. Don't eat that. Spit it out. That's not food, little one. It is litter. Hello, hatchling. My name is Bella. You must be careful. There is a lot of marine debris in the ocean that looks like food, but it isn't. Marine debris is litter. Litter items such as plastic, bags, bottles, balloons and straws are dumped by humans and end up in the oceans. This litter can harm many animals. You must be hungry, little one. If you keep swimming in that direction, you'll find a spot where there is plenty of real food to eat. I'm sorry, I can't come with you to show you, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'm on my way to the beach where I will be laying my eggs. Bye Hatch, have a safe journey. Did you know that mommy turtles make nests on the beach where they lay their eggs? Guess how many eggs a mommy turtle can lay at one time? Good guess! We lay around 100 eggs! That's a lot of eggs, don't you agree? It is hard work to lay all those eggs, so please don't bother us and steal our eggs. Once all the eggs are in the nest, we cover them with sand to protect them. When the eggs hatch, the little hatchlings are very clever. They make their way to the ocean by following the light reflection on the ocean. Well, it is time for me to go. Remember not to litter and always pick any litter you find on the beach before the tide pulls it back into the ocean. That will really help all the sea creatures and this beautiful planet that we all share. Do you think you can do that? Great! Thank you for all your help! Bye bye friend! Hello, my name is Beauty. I've come to the beach to sit today to see if I can spot any turtles. They are my favourite sea animals. What is your favourite sea animal? Look what I just picked up on the beach. An old balloon. Good thing I spotted it. Can you imagine how terrible it would be if a sea creature ate it or a bird became entangled in the string? I'm going to throw it in the bin right away. What's this? A free balloon? No, thank you. Most balloons end up as litter and hurt many animals. No more balloons for me. Today is my birthday. I decided not to have balloons as my at my party. Will you join me and also say no to balloons? Thank you for also loving turtles and other creatures. It's time to cut the cake. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. So I found that this book is really amazing for children. It is so informative and it has so many facts. It teaches them things. I really, really love how interactive it is. Um, at the back, it even has little things that they could go and find in the books. So it's not just, oh, read a story, end, goodbye, forget about it. They can go through the book and find some things that they maybe never have seen, hadn't seen before. And at the end, it even tells you, you know, the life cycle of a uh, turtle, which is really, really nice. At the end of the book, it's so basically it's all about litter and making sure that you pick up your litter. 
so that sea animals don't get stuck in it or eat it. And at the end the girl says no she doesn't want any balloons for her birthday party. She wants to help the sea animals. I do think that this is only one way, well it is only one way of, of helping the planet and helping with litter. So this is a really great opportunity for you to bring up this discussion and actually ask your children what other things can we do to help with litter? So you could go on to things like um, using paper straws instead of uh, plastic straws, um, going to the beach and let's go pick up litter for the day. Um, when you walk past litter, don't just look at it, pick it up. And that obviously applies with not only being right by the beach, um, it could be on your playground, it could be in your house, anyway. And then also, I know some people take a two liter bottle and they stuff some, you know, chip packets and anything that, that can slide into a two liter bottle hole. Um, they slip it in there and then people have been doing initiatives where they build using two liter, they build houses or chairs or all kinds of amazing things using these bottles. So I really think this is an amazing book to read with your child. If you can get your hands on it, please do. Or just listen to my story. I think it's really, really amazing. Hope you enjoyed that.